the owner was standing her ground against the demolition when she was arrested and dragged through the mud by the police. We bed broke up. Everything broke up. What, what I sleep. sleep. Yeah, in the, the, then the rain wet me up. It's right there on the road. I saw homeless girl now. Now I'm a homeless girl. What we see happening here is transgression to the max. Oppression to the max. And I'm saying people will have to stand up at some point for their rights. The operator did not stop there. He destroyed all the beverages and other items the woman had for sale. Some were covered by the debris. And this is totally wrong with the people doing. This is totally wrong. These people need to, these people need to give me justice. Twenty something years now we, we family live over here, boss. There's more than just a public possibility. I believe that there's a high probability that legal proceedings will have to be instituted. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. This was a scene at KNV Moko Arcade today as the Ministry of Housing, accompanied by members of the right squad of the Guyana Police Force, moved to demolish the structures occupied by squatters who failed to accept the compensation offered by the government. The housing ministry said the land on which the persons are on form part of the construction of the Eccles to Great Diamond Highway. Shots were fired by the police and persons were arrested while angry residents threw bricks, bottles and flammable objects at the police. At one point, the excavator caught fire. What did they do? Like, they want to talk no more. It does. Them telling me for coming one by one. They, uh, them saying that oh we house ward. In these hard times, will you can pay six million or five million or two million for these things they know. Then what's expensive? Nails expensive. Board expense everything gone high. We bed broke up. Everything broke up. What what I sleep? I need the rain wet me up. It's right take on the road. I saw homeless girl now. Now I'm a homeless girl. And this is totally wrong with the people doing. This is totally wrong. These people need to these people need to give me justice. Twenty something years now we, we family live over here, boss. Actually thirty years now. Where we going? The area was surrounded by the police and housing officials who were executing the exercise. They first started by removing the bridge and then this house and business place. The owner was standing her ground against the demolition when she was arrested and dragged through the mud by the police. For several minutes, she and the police wrestled until she decided to go. Moments later, her house came crashing down. The operator did not stop there. He destroyed all the beverages and other items the woman had for sale. Some were covered by the debris. By this time, some squatters started to remove their household, livestock and other items. Opposition leader Orby Norton arrived on the scene and tried to reason with the police and the housing officials. Why can't they meet in a civilized way? Things got heated as the exercise continued, with residents pelting the police who returned fire. Opposition MP Royzel Ford, Coretta McDonald, and other MPs were on hand to see the destruction. What we see happening here 
is transgression to the max, oppression to the max. And I'm saying people will have to stand up at some point for their rights because we cannot allow history to, to keep repeating itself. There's more than just a possibility. I believe that there's a high probability that legal proceedings will have to be instituted by the people who would have been suffering, by the families who have been suffering this art of demolition and complete destruction to the property. And there's, it's just simply beyond that uh, level. I believe that serious questions have been raised and we will examine them. We're in the process of gathering a number of pieces of information and documents that go towards the legal ownership of this land as to who actually owns it whether this is in fact land for which the government even if they want to build a road it should be subject to the constitution should be subject to the payment of compensation to persons who are the owners of this land so we are currently in the process of examining those issues and we will definitely be instituting proceedings if it is found that it is necessary to do so but in my view having regard to what i've seen here what i've learned over the last couple of days this is a serious case that will require some degree of legal representation for the part on the part of these people who have suffered and complete destruction to their livelihood but this is a complete demolition to their lives i believe it is extremely insensitive when it occurred in linden when it occurs in other parts of the country it is against the rights of the people not because that they are squatters in the, in the eyes of the government, not because they can't produce a title uh, to property. This is completely against the law. They have no right to demolish homes, especially to demolish homes in the manner in which they are doing. This reminds us of the situation in apartheid South Africa, the demolition of homes and communities. And the government here would have signed all sorts of treaties. I don't know whether they don't read them, whether they don't pay attention to them in terms of the rights of people and the rights of persons to live even in homes that are not necessarily on legal land owned by them. This is what is left of the houses when the exercise was completed as persons contemplate their next move and start all over again. Many of those whose houses were demolished lived on the land between 16 to 30 years. Let me say this before I bring Mark in. What happened there is exactly what happened in South Africa under the apartheid regime when they demolished homes by black people and the government said that they were moving these people because a road had to pass there road and pass there yet you know the road built somewhere else we know what they cleared those people there for the road is nearby the new highway so they want to take that land and give it to their east indian supporters to build businesses and lavish homes but we watching them and I fault the opposition for saying certain things. The opposition needs to tell the, these people that whenever, I don't care if it's tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, 10 years, whenever they go into power, they're going to take back those lands. Delta 9 family, welcome back to the flight. When I see that video, and I hear about the situation we're going on. Look, me face gets screw up just like Ranjitan on this thumbnail. I get real screw when I hear about this situation here. I tell you because I say to myself, buddy, when we can stop doing these things to one another, buddy. Look, there's so much land, there's so much money, there's so much wealth in Guyana. How could any person any high-ranking official rest comfortably knowing that that's the circumstances that persons got to experience in Guyana. That don't make no sense. How could persons be living like that in one of the richest places in the world? Poor citizen. That means that somewhere along the line, the wealth is not dividing equally because if it's the richest country in the world, a citizen and some of the people them living like this oh my homeless in the rain come on man there's something that can be done here i know allegedly because i don't want to put my head on a block for nothing or no one but i would hope 
Let me say that I would hope that someone somewhere in authority with that would set that right and make sure that them people, even though allegedly they might have been forced off of a situation that they were in, that the situation that they find themselves in afterwards is one much better body. Make sure that people get fixed right with something better than that. Not just push off and you take what we want, get you. Make sure the situation nice and they got something. Yes, it's for development allegedly. But come on, not like duh. Not like duh because guess what? When them type of things start going on now, going closer to the elections, there is only fuel for the flames that are already looking like if it won't come around. But why we gotta live like this with one another? Why we gotta live like this with one another? In a place where it don't even make no sense. It don't even make no sense, it's so wealthy. Why we suffering one another in turn, suffering ourselves? What do you think about this, Afi? What going on with this situation here? What's your perspective on what you see? This is a very sad situation. I couldn't believe my eyes because there are laws that should be protecting these people in their homes. And if they, if yeah, you said that they came to them with some form of compensation, but it wasn't a hundred percent of a uh, compensation and equal what the property was worth. So they're homeless now. They're not going to get their properties back. You heard that their bed was broken. People's bottles, their drinks were open, broken. People were arrested. That part right there. I can't understand for the love of me why you would break up drinks. We hear it. We hear it in the video. It's unmistakable that bottles are being broken up in that area right there. So we got to ask ourselves. We know that bottle has got cash in for money. So now, who paying for all of the body? Oh, like you broke her house down. So what if she needed money to, you know, get a hotel, get this? You broke the way that she would make money to? It's sad how we living with one another. Yo, watch the video for yourself. And y'all left a comment in the comment section and share your feedback on how y'all feel about this situation right here. Because it's important. And why isn't it trending? That's one thing. Let's trend, make this video trend. Yeah, because it's more than this one situation too. Because look, no, it's not just this, you know. It's not just this. They got success that was going on before this. And then now watch. Kingston Sea Walls too. too. All right. All right. It's so many. It's so many. And look, Kingston Sea Wall as well. And they have two days. You know what it is to have a business and have two days to vacate oh, your business? Oh, on one of the most busiest business hubs because they bring in the hotel coming right by QC. So when they bring the hotel by QC, now all them people are going to come right out there and to spend the money. 100% wildcrafted CMOS from nature by natives. Why pay more? Buying shares. In Dubai, a company in Dubai, to work on a joint venture with another company to come here to buy the GPL. I am not one of those persons. I am not one of those persons. So they're running down GPL to the point where, this, where the people of this country will get 